A Little Spot Learns Math with Lemons. Written and illustrated by Diane Albert. Hi, I'm Learning Spot, and I'm here to talk about math. Math? No thanks. I already know 2 plus 2. I can count to 100. Wait just a second. What if I told you that math could help you predict the future? How? <coughs> I'll give you an example. If you earn $10 a day and you spend one a day on ice cream, I can predict that 10 days into the future, you will have no money left. I don't like that example. Can you predict when I will make money? <laughs> Learning math can definitely help you make money, save money, and spend money wisely. How can math help you do that? Let's say that a neighbor pays you $10 to clean up all the lemons in their yard. And they let you keep the lemons you picked up for free. Instead of buying ice cream and eventually running out of money, you could use the money to start a business, selling lemonade to earn money. Before you can sell lemonade, you need to create a lemonade recipe. You might need to pr practice a few times to get Get it just right. Too sour, just right. All of this counting and measuring is math. Now that you have the perfect lemonade recipe, you need to figure out what everything will cost. All businesses, business, businesses have expenses. Listing our out all your costs is how you you create a budget budgeting is math let's figure out how many cups of lemonade we can make with your budget since we only have two gallons of water the most lemonade we can make is 32 cups measuring liquid is math to figure out what to charge, it's good to do some research. Last weekend you saw two lemonade stands. One was selling lemonade for $1 and the other was selling lemonade for $3. It might be a good idea to charge somewhere in the middle at two. Finding the average price is it. Price is math. Now it's time to create the sign. I like I like to attach a sign to a box so it's strong and won't blow away. It's good to measure the box to see how big to make the sign. Measuring the height and length are math. If the box is big enough and sturdy enough, you could use it as a table to hold your cups and lemonade. Weight and balance are math. Now that you know how many cups you can make and, the pri and what price to sell at each cup, let's see how much money you would make. You can also multiply 32 cups of lemonade by $2 per cup to find out your total sales too. To figure out your profit, you would take your $64 in sales and subtract your expenses. You can make $54, in prof $54 in profit. Way to go. You use math to make sure you are making more money than you are spending. Now let's see how you... How you, now that you know you will be profitable, let's start selling. Some customers will pay with extra change and some will need change back. 
We will use subtraction in addition to figure it out. Adding and subtracting is math. Wow, what a great day. You sold all 32 cups of lemonade since there are two of you running the lemonade stand. You can all split your profits equally. Divide 54 profit by 2. Division is math. You can use math to predict your future lemonade. Sales by creating graphs. Graphs are a way to see informally using Informally, math can break. Math can break. You can use math to predict the future lemonade sales by creating graphs. Graphs are a way to see information visually. This can also help you see any patterns that can help your your business. Creating graphs is math. This is two full years of sales in in a graph. You can see a pattern. Summer is the best month to sell lemonade. Finding patterns is math. Which, with a few lemons, hard work, and problem solving with math, you can buy lots of ice cream and even have money left over to save for your next business idea. Wow, there are so many ways to use math. What business should we start next?